Now there's definitely one surefire way to put a smile on any photographer's face, and that is, of course, new camera day. Because everybody knows, of course, that buying new cameras and lenses will 100% make you a better photographer. Please make me better. Now this isn't really like a proper unboxing video per se. Basically, I've got a few videos at the moment that are on hold just because we're in lockdown and I kind of need other people to be involved to film them or be in public places and yada yada. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick update video to let you know that I bought a Mamiya RB67. So I'm going to show you, I did film me unboxing it and I'm going to show you that as I'm talking because I'm fully aware that there's a few of you weirdos out there that for some reason enjoy watching other people open their post and who am I to stop you from that joy in these terrible times. So yeah, if you follow my channel already, you'll be aware that last year I actually ended up renting a few medium format 6x7 film cameras to essentially kind of try them before I buy them. Um, I ended up trying things like the Pentax 67, the Mamiya 72, uh, the Mamiya RZ67, etc. Cameras like that, just because I wanted to figure out which one I felt more comfortable with, which one worked better for my needs, um, and which one I would probably use more for like projects and ongoing things going forwards. And yeah, after trying uh, quite a few of them, I ended up deciding on the Mamiya RZ67. So yeah, obviously after deciding that the Mamiya RZ67 was the camera for me, um, I wanted to buy one, but money is tight at the moment due to the fact that I'm a wedding photographer by trade and you know weddings have been few and far between due to lockdowns and restrictions and whatnot. So yeah, I was gonna hold fire until kind of like the end of wedding season for 2021, hoping that you know things would get back to normal. But I'm currently working on a project about my hometown um, and I wanted the RZ or something like that for it because I'm going to be shooting a lot of like landscapes and streetscapes but also a lot of portraits of people and yeah so basically you know I was looking into the differences between the RB67 and the RZ67 and actually you know there's not a great deal of difference between the two cameras the RB actually being fully mechanical not requiring a battery obviously with the RZ you can get the 110 millimeter 2.8 so there's a slight better depth of field with that lens but I've got the 90 millimeter 3.8 and I've tested it out and I'll show you some photo samples in a bit and the depth of field you can get on here is still great especially for close-up headshots and stuff like that it is sharp as a tap this lens and um, yeah I'll show you a few samples from my first few rolls in a bit but I'm really enjoying it so yeah the camera came uh, last Friday it's Wednesday today and um, yeah I obviously opened it straight away because I'm very impatient so I just filmed as I was opening it because I thought I might use the footage um, I just wanted to check it was all there and it was all okay. The next day I went out with my family, it's been terrible weather in the UK at the moment, it's been raining constantly, cold and windy as you'd expect from winter. But I wanted to get out so I've been shooting some black and white and kind of pushing it. First I took some, before we went out I took some portraits of my family, I just set up a backdrop in my kitchen, uh, literally just using the natural window lights, so like front facing light coming from the big window in my kitchen. Just took a couple of very quick portraits of my kids and my wife. Um, yeah, just the backdrop, the natural light, nothing else. Just to make sure it was working and was it sharp enough. And then we went out for a walk later and I finished off uh, the rest of the roll and took a couple more pictures while we were out and about. Then on the Sunday, luckily I already had a shoot booked in with a local model uh, where I was actually going to be taking pictures with the Fuji X-T3 and the Cinebloom filter because I'm doing a video about that as well, which I'll show you the samples for that in that video. But yeah, so luckily the film camera came and I thought, you know what, I'll bring that as well and I'll shoot a couple of rolls of film. So I shot a roll of Portra 160 and a roll of Delta 100 as well, both rated at 100. Um, and yeah, I managed to get some nice shots this lens is super sharp, it's really fun to use this camera and I'm very very happy with it so far. So yeah this wasn't really meant to be like a long winded video or anything, I just kind of wanted to update you guys with my most recent film camera purchase and just kind of show you a few sample photos from the first few rolls that I put through it um, along with the camera. So obviously I've got the camera body, one film back and the 90mm 3.8 lens. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the camera because to be honest with you there's probably already a million videos of the RB67 
uh, on YouTube already. I say probably, I know there is because I've watched them before I bought this. And uh, in those videos, they would have broken this down much better than I probably ever would anyway. So if you're interested in knowing more about them than the RB67, search on YouTube. That's, I can't afford to do that. But uh, yeah, so going forwards, this is going to be my main film camera of choice, especially for portraits. And uh, I'm probably going to shoot the vast majority of my project, the South End project, on this thing as well. And I'm, yeah, looking forward to using it more and getting out and starting to take some portraits of strangers for the project, which I'll talk about in the next video. But until then, I'll uh, see you guys soon.